Solving a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula, we like formulas. Those tend to make things a lot easier. We know that typically when we have a quadratic equation like this, we have to factor it. But it, these are the kind that actually don't factor. We can use the quadratic equation to solve this. So we want to solve for x. This is something that you really <laughs> really need to know so it's good to put this in your notes the quadratic equation looks like this first of all we have to understand that the the equation has to be in this form which is called standard form a b and c are constants and they get plugged into here in these positions negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a <coughs> So in this case, we've got a is 5. Notice this is a plus b, so that means b is negative 5. And a plus c here means that c is negative 1. So what does x equal? It's going to be negative of b, which is negative 5. And it's going to be plus or minus the square root of b squared which would be negative 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 5, times c, which is negative 1. And then that whole thing is going to be divided by 2 times a, which is 5. So it's easy. We just plug it into the formula. But we've got to be careful, because there's a lot of calculations here. OK, so let's work on simplifying this. If we look at the negative of the negative 5, then that just makes 5. We've got plus or minus. And then in here, we take a look. And we've got the negative 5 squared, which is 25. And then that's minus 4 times 5, which is 20, times negative 1, which is negative 20. And then we do our bump bump. And that's going to be 45. So it's going to be the square root of 45. And then below, it's just 2 times 5, which is 10. So if we take a look here, using the quadratic formula, our final answer looks like this. You may notice that the square root of 45 can be simplified. So you could write your answer in this form. Either one is acceptable. OK, one more quick example. Quadratic formula. Remember, that's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So here's our a, our b, and our c, all positive in this case. So we just plug it in. The negative b, so that's negative 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which would be 6 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 3. And that's all over 2a, which is 2. OK, so we simplify this. We've got in here 6 squared is 36, minus 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24, so that's going to be 12. So we end up with negative 6 plus the square root of 12 all over 4, and then negative 6 minus the square root of 12 all over 4. And of course, this is an acceptable answer, so we could leave it like this, or we could notice that the 12, the square root of 12 reduces to uh, 2 radical 3. But that's fine either way.